What's going on guys, Brian Boitano here coming back at you with another video and today we're doing another prospect breakdown. This happens to be around Texas safety Deshaun Elliott. I will say before the video, there is a somewhat notable bias due to the fact that I am a Texas fan. However, usually and with this in my opinion, I leave all potential biases at the door and I just evaluate the player for what that player is and what they can become at the next level. So I would take an Oklahoma player, being a Texas fan, just the same as I would a Texas player. If one's better than the other, I'm going to say that they are and for what reasons. But we have Deshaun Elliott. I think he is a very talented player, of course, at Texas over this past season. He didn't start two years ago, but he's come into the starting role this year and has done so at an extremely high level. Deshaun Elliott has been absolutely incredible, in my opinion, um, especially regarding stats. He has been awesome. He has six interceptions on the year. He's an All-American. He has eight and a half tackles for loss. I think 12 run stops. Many tackles. Pass deflections. Deshaun Elliott does it all, and he does it at a high level. Now, he's one of the only good players on Texas. That's the reality. They haven't been all that good recently, and... They finally had a decent season defensively, despite the inability of their offense to do much. They've shut out some teams. And when I say shut out, I don't mean put up zero and actual shut out. I mean, they've shut down multiple high-powered offenses. You look at Oklahoma State, you look at USC, you look at Oklahoma. They have been pretty much stalled, putting up nowhere near the number of points that they usually would. Deshaun Elliott is a big reason behind that. He is a natural playmaking safety he has the ability also very rare blend of coming down to be a physical run defender in the box he makes hits he delivers hits very very good in stopping the run eight and a half tackles for loss is no joke but his nine career interceptions shows that he has ability to make plays and force turnovers in that department as well. He also has a number of career forced fumbles. I believe it is three. I think it's two this year. He has been incredible in that department as well. He makes plays. Now, he isn't exactly the honey badger coming out of LSU. Very different type of players, but I think Deshaun Elliott is a natural safety where you could find him playing over the top in a traditional free safety role, or you could slide him over as a strong safety. He has the ability to come down and play in the box and do so at a high level. I'm a big fan of Deshaun Elliott. He is quick. He is fast, which are two very different things in my opinion. Um, he just gets in position to make plays in the football, and that's one thing that is such a rare ability to find. And you guys will see when we talk about uh, Deshaun Elliott in my prospect breakdown on the mock draft, or excuse me, on the, on the podcast. Um, we have great things to say about Deshaun Elliott overall and certain abilities, and Swami will chime in as well. Um, haven't really seen him pop up in any mock drafts, is what I meant to say. But I think that will change soon. He's going to get an invite to the Combine. He will go to the Combine, probably test at around the 4-5 range, which I think is excellent speed for a safety. It's not 4-3, but how few are. It's not 4-4, but I think it maybe could be. He's way faster than a lot of people give him credit for, in my opinion. Very natural, rangy ball hawk. I think that's one of his main attributes and you can't discredit it you can't discount what a playmaking safety brings to the table because he will force turnovers regardless of scenario he finds a way to get in front of the football get the football in his hands his ball skills are tremendous now he did have a dropped interception at texas tech when i was at the texas tech game um he made a tremendous play to get in front of a receiver just shadowed stepped in front made the play drop the interception it's unfortunate it will happen they play on the defensive side of the ball there are so few opportunities to really catch interceptions so you're gonna have drops every once in a while it does happen but i think the main attribute that he has is getting in front of the football and getting in position to make those interceptions which is such a rarity for some of these players six on the year could have probably been seven or eight he had one play and I'm pretty sure you guys will see it just coming up here in a moment in a, in the actual podcast highlights. He has a tipped ball that nearly hits the ground, stretches out, extends, uses his fingertips to catch the ball, and houses it 
for a touchdown. He has two touchdowns on the year as well. Two pick sixes. He's just a natural playmaking safety. But let's go ahead and shoot over to the podcast so you guys can see what we said about him over there. I say we discuss a little bit about prospects quickly. Then we'll talk about some games from last week. And then we'll talk about the picks for this week. Sure. All right, so want to start off with your prospect. I didn't spend too much time watching him because I haven't had the time, but I know that he is a pretty good player, and he's having an excellent season this year. Excellent breakout season. My player, sticking with the defensive theme, I just love defense so much. I really I really can't speak on it um, other than that. I could care less about quarterbacks and wide receivers and running backs making flashy plays. When you have defensive players, you know, setting the edge – making plays on the defense side of the ball. My favorite play in all of football is the interception. And Deshaun Elliott is a player who excels at making these interceptions. Safety out of Texas, having absolute breakout season. He has declared for the draft yep. officially. Yep, he'll be, he, he believes he'll be a day two pick at the worst. At the worst. He's going to rise up draft board. I think he's going to test well. I think the more that teams watch his tape, the more impressed they're going to be because he's a safety with natural playmaking ability and tremendous ball skills. Now, when I was at the Texas um, Texas Tech game uh, a couple weeks ago, yeah. Deshaun Elliott was all over the field making plays, and he did drop an interception. Well, this will happen. Um, these are things that happen. He's a defender. Of course he'll drop an interception. Yeah. When you get in a position to make these plays, though, consistently, that's – that's not a commodity. Yeah. That's that's something that's really a true talent, true ability. Yep. And Deshaun Elliott continues to impress time in, time out, time again, yep. whatever you want to say. He's been awesome. He's also been decent in terms of run stops. I believe he has 12 on the season and full of tackles. He has right now eight and a half tackles for a loss. I don't ha- I don't know his exact run stop numbers. But, yeah, I looked at it this morning, and it was something in that neighborhood. He has two defensive touchdowns yep. on the year, which I think is also incredible. Showcases his playmaking ability. Yep. Um, out of those handful of interceptions he has, he has, is that six interceptions? Six interceptions. Two multi-interception games. And interceptions don't necessarily tell the whole tale about defensive players, especially not a quarterback. But when you have a safety that's consistently forcing these turnovers, yep. that's a huge value. And I don't want to make the comparison – to Earl Thomas just because, you know, Texas, Texas. I don't think he is like Earl Thomas. Yeah. I think he's a completely different player, but I think he has the same playmaking ability. And, and Earl Thomas yeah. is one of the best playmakers we've seen in the NFL over the past decade since he was drafted in 2010. Yeah. And then John Elliott is debatably the best playmaker in this draft on the defensive side of the ball. I think Joshua Jackson's another guy out of uh, Iowa. Tremendous yeah. playmaker. But yeah. Deshaun Elliott needs to be considered with some of the best up there. His coverage has been very good yeah. his drop back is I, I don't want to say flawless because you know you can always improve yeah but he's very good at surveying the field knowing where the quarterback's going to go with the ball very fluid in coverage and that's that's one of the huge things that players struggle with at the college yeah. level which is zero fluidity in coverage yeah this john elliott just makes it look seamless super fun super awesome to watch big fan yeah. there is potential bias there but i want to know what you think <laughs> Um, from the bit that I watched of him, first off, he's not playing a natural free safety position at Texas. From what I've seen, he's played a lot in the box, which is um, something good. It shows that he has a multitude of skills. Silly. Yep. Um, outside of just the numbers, which he has six interceptions this year, nine pass deflections, and three forced fumbles, with along with 63 tackles, which is excellent. But from what I've watched of him, he has good change of direction. He is able to make plays on the ball. He has good burst, so he's able to kind of transition, open his hips, and run pretty well. Um, He's just good break in general. Looks like a pretty good athlete. Gets his hands on the ball, on the receiver. He can diagnose those routes pretty well. Can mirror some of those tight ends over the middle, some uh, in-man coverage. I think he's a very talented player, and I'm looking forward to watching more of him and actually grading him. But from just what the bit I've seen, I see a player who absolutely is a playmaker and who can pretty much play a hybrid safety role at the next level, which I'd be very happy to see. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know where he would fit best. I mean, there's a part of me that obviously would really like him to go to my favorite team, the New York Giants. But I also think he would fit really well in that system to pair with Atlantic Collins. Yeah. I think he could also fit 
uh, in Dallas, unfortunately. <laughs> I think he would fit super well in Dallas, especially being from Dallas. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a fun storyline. It'll be an interesting, interesting to see where he goes. I'd say he's probably going to be a mid second rounder. Um, but I could see him going higher depending on how he tests the combine. If he runs anything better than a four five, I think we'll see him in. I think he's going to be right in that range, four five yeah. three, something like that. Yeah, but if he if he has a better combine than that, I could see him getting into the first round. Which yeah, late first round pick I think is definitely feasible. And you know when you have a, a player, and I keep saying playmaking ability, but that's yeah. truly what it is. It's it's a rarity. Absolutely. That podcast is Thursdays at 7 Live, but it's later upgraded, or excuse me, uploaded to the channel if you guys want to check it out there. But we're back to Deshaun Elliott. We're going to go ahead and talk about his draft prediction. Now, I think Deshaun Elliott is probably in the second round range. However, I think with a good combine and with more teams watching his tape and really breaking down his ability and scouts as well um, and analysts, they're going to find out that Deshaun Elliott is really an incredible player. And I think he could go... Uh, mid to late first round at his top i think worst case scenario he is a day two pick so you talk about the second and third round and move on into the fourth i don't think deshaun elliott is going to head into the fourth round i think the latest he possibly goes is mid middle third i don't think he moves far past that i think his ability is too strong and anyone that drafts him is going to get an incredible player and you will see I can guarantee you Deshaun Elliott's going to be a very good player. I don't usually go all in on players. I am really all in on Deshaun Elliott for reasons that I talked about both in the podcast and leading up into playing that clip. So I think second round is what I'm going to give him as far as a grade goes. I think it's a happy medium. I do think he could move up into the first round pretty much depending on how well he tests at the 40, 20 yard shuttle, vertical, bench press, things like that. But his tape is there. It's incredible tape. He is so awesome in that regard. As far as his draft grades go, there's a different grading system for every single one of my prospects. So a speed for safety is not the same as speed for a defensive end. It's just not. Eight speed for a defensive end, usually it wouldn't be anywhere close to what eight speed would be for a safety. Speed is important, I think, to Sean Elliott. We've given him an eight. I think that is a fair grade for sure. And his overall grade, you guys can see there at the bottom, is actually quite high. I'll get to that in a moment. But speed is an 8. Deshaun Elliott is very fast, in my opinion. Great burst. So I think that 4-5 speed, 4-5-3, 4-5-5, somewhere in that range, I don't think he's going to be in the 4-6s. I think that probably constitutes as an 8. I think 9 would probably be in the 4-4 four, four range, and then 10, pretty much anything sub 4-4, four, because four, 4-3 four, speed is incredible, especially for a safety coverage i've given a nine we talk about the playmaking ability and deshaun elliott really brings it all to the table great coverage safety whether it's over the top or whether it's in the box i think he does it all at a high level gets in position to make plays ball skills is a nine if not for that dropped interception at texas tech i can guarantee you this would be a 10 deshaun elliott has shown the position uh skills you know to get in position to make these plays and even so for tip passes and things like that he just gets in them very soft hands secures the interception and turns it into points on multiple occasions over the year you can't teach that that's just natural playmaking ability which i keep talking about but it's necessary to say he has fantastic hands this is a guy that could play wide receiver um especially at the ncaa level but potentially even at the nfl level but he, he's a safety clearly pursuit i've given a seven i think that is maybe even a little low. Um, I think he does have good range. His ability to get the ball carrier, tackle him in the backfield is awesome. I figure just seven is above average in terms of a grade, but it isn't what you're going to see as best in the class. This could easily be an eight. I've decided to give it a seven because I think he could improve in that department, and I think he's better as a coverage safety more than in-the-box guy. But he does that at a very high level. Seven is not a shabby score at all. Tackling is an eight. Very sure tackler. Eight and a half tackles for loss on the season. So when he gets in position to wrap up the ball carry in the backfield, he makes them count with the run stops, with the tackles for loss. Deshaun Elliott is great in that department. And I've given recognition as a nine. And that pretty much encompasses ability to diagnose what the quarterback is going to do, whether it's tracking his eyes and then making a play on the ball, or 
figuring out whether it's a run or pass, and then assessing the situation based on that, whether you have to rush into the backfield and get after the ball carrier or drop back in coverage because it's a play action, you know, keep on your assignment, whatever it is. I've given that a 9. I think he's incredible in that department. That's obviously one of his highest grades here. And his total grade is going to be an 83. I think he's a very well-rounded safety. He's not the fastest. He isn't the best in coverage or the best at stopping the run. But he's top tier in nearly all those categories. He is really, really good in my opinion. And again, Texas fan, you could say there is bias. I don't think so. I think I've evaluated it. Uh, Deshaun Elliott very fairly he's an incredible player I think any team that gets him is going to be lucky as far as comparison goes I think there isn't really a pure player that compares to him very well I think Eric Berry is fairly close I think Earl Thomas in some regards is fairly close but I don't think Deshaun Elliott has the center field ability like Earl Thomas does just cover the center middle drop back and just go from sideline to sideline. I don't think he's fast enough to do that. I think Earl Thomas' speed would probably be like a 9 or a 10. Um, and his his range is just incredible. But Deshaun Elliott, very, very exciting safety. Very fun player to watch. I think he's going to be awesome at the next level. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. This shit don't run well.